Mr. President, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to meet with me this evening and postponing one of your important business meetings. Uh, and by important business meetings, I naturally mean high-profile dates with your wife. <laughs> yep, not everyone in Washington does that today. Mr. President, people like Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton are becoming increasingly popular today. Why is that? The loudest, shrillest voices get the most attention. So you don't mind if I crack one of these open, do you? Alright, um... You know, that's actually not too bad for an American beer. T time out a second, Steve. Come on now. Josh, and I understand I shouldn't knock American beer in front of the President of the United States. So I understand you're a big fan of beer yourself. You like the porters, lagers, ales, stouts, IPAs. Uh, did, did you want one? Hey, Mr. President, have you ever seen those Red Stripe commercials where that guy's like, Hooray, beer! Uh, you don't have to yell and holler. Right. Uh, sorry, Mr. President. I don't know if you've ever bonged a beer, but is that something you might be interested in? You, you know, what I would be willing to do is to consider any ideas out there that would actually work. Oh, I think it works. Uh, do you think that's the best way for young people out there to get drunk? That is the conventional wisdom. So you're going on record um, stating that the best way to get drunk is by bonging beers? By far. Did you know they now make a 30-foot beer bong and your friend can pour you a beer from three stories up and you can drink it in three quarters of a second? I own it. Really? Wow. Hey, Mr. President, what do you think of my dog? I guarantee you this will be pronounced dead. What? How do you suppose that's going to happen? It crashes and burns. That's kind of an odd thing to say. All right, moving on. Mr. President, for many people, this is a very difficult economic environment. I think you are absolutely right that this is a very difficult economic environment. Th that's what I just said. I, I understand that you've looked over my portfolio, and I was wondering if you might be willing to help me get a job by writing me a letter of recommendation. Maybe we should just hold off until some other time. Well, uh, if. If you don't want to write a letter, that's fine, I understand that, but um, overall, what did you think of my portfolio? It's still a work in progress, no doubt about it. I can't believe I voted for you.